Thomcraft, the final frontier. This is Thomcraft 4 with Joe Hills. We're about to create a brand new world with the seed at Joe Hills. We're loading the world, we're building terrain, we're logging in all over again. It's Thomcraft. Don't worry guys, we're going to do an actual theme song later. For right now, it's just time to uh, probably punch trees, being as we are in Minecraft. Oh no, everything is too loud. Let's go in here. Turn down our sounds, turn off our music and all that. Boom, much better. Now that we are engaged in the the most dangerous game, which is of course being hunted in Minecraft. No, wait, no. It's uh, it's making magic in Minecraft because magic is about something bigger than any of us. It's about giant zombies coming to our faces and just like beating them up with their fists, just totally showing up in our maws and just gnawing at us with their jaws. So let's look around for a good place to start our home. We've got a bay here, which is nice. Like, I, a lot of my old school Minecraft starts would always be down by the bays. Because you always used to spawn on the beach. You'd wash up on the shore here. And be like, oh, I'm Tom Hanks from the film, whoa, what's that tree over there? We're going this way. Okay, so it looks like there's a big silverwood tree. Which does indeed confirm that our Thumbcraft 4 generation is happening precisely the way we had planned. Let's see, uh, we seem to have a hill here. Like I said, I like this. This is a good starting area. Once again, the seed is at Joe Hills with a capital J and a capital H. So if you want to play along with me, you can. What I figure I need to do in Thumbcraft is... Ooh, spooky cave. Let's see if we can fix this Latin glitch by punching that. Boom. Of course, there's no exposed coal or anything. But this might be a good place to make my first night shelter, actually. We can just carve into the stone here with some of the logs we got here. And, I mean, you guys have seen Minecraft get started like a million times. So, I'm not going to Pat Sajak... Tr Pat Sajak tronize you. Wow. I See, that was going to be patronized with the Sajak in there, like like on Wheel of Fortune. You know, or like the song Spin That Wheel from the 1989 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, you know, starring the Shredder, as well as several turtles. Um... Wow, so yeah, my point is that I know you guys know how Minecraft starts off. And I really don't want to just show all this, like, opening house starting thing. Okay, we're going to have some problems here if I don't create a furnace and start cooking some of some of the uh, things that need to be cooked. So we're going to go ahead and make some more sticks and make an axe. Once again, this is Thomcraft for beginners. Now, once I actually get all this stuff together, I know that I need some iron ingots and a stick in order to fashion my first wand. And when I get my first wand, I also need to have a bookshelf. So that means I'm going to need some uh, reeds, and I'm going to need some leather, and once again, some iron. So, here we go. We can just take these... You know what? Let's gather an appropriate number of sticks. Not sticks, logs. These are logs. They are made of spruce. And um, to tell you the truth, I'm very excited about them. They are very colorful. Okay, good. There's some reeds over there that we can grab and plant some of. So it looks like only some of these are actual silverwood trees. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. This is great. This is wonderful because now we are way closer to achieving our goal of having an iron wand. All we need to do is cook this iron up, kill some cattle. Although I'm a little wary about killing cattle without breeding them first. So we might want to get some seeds as well so I can get some wheat to breed the cattle with once I find them. Oh, those are ferns. Those cannot be, uh, those cannot be turned into seeds. How was I so blind? So, boom. We got some reeds. We're going to move over to our side of the bay where our house is. Got some pigs here. Well, whatever. This is going passably well. Okay, we got enough seeds that we can build a wheat farm to find some cattle with later. How are we for sunlight? Sun is past half the sky, um, which is written by, oh, I should know this, two journalists. They're both on Twitter for the New York Times. They, uh, they're they all about empowering people who, who don't have power. Not like in the superhero sense, but like in the, like, Oh, your life was a terrible, um, you know, terrible situation, and now it's it's not quite so bad. I, sh I should really know this. It's like Cheryl Wu Dunn and Nicholas Kristoff, maybe. Maybe. That might not be right. So, 
Anyway, now that we have had the sun pass half the sky, and we've talked about half the sky, the novel, and we can just go ahead and start cooking some of that. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to want to make a a seed thing. Uh, we're going to need to make a seed hoe so we can harvest some wheat for cattle feeding. So let's run down here to the water. And of course, none of this is really close enough. Oh, while we're here, though, plant our sugar cane or reeds or whatever. So, boom. Oh, here we go. Perfect place. Boom, boom, boom. To plant our seeds. And perhaps we will sow something wonderful. And not with a needle. We're not going to, like, run up to cattle and uh, use a needle and thread to, like, sew their mouths shut, because that would be cruel. We try not to be cruel to cattle in this game. That is generally an undesirable mechanism of expression. I, I really believe that self-expression is vital to actualizing oneself fully as a material, spiritual, corporeal being. But cruelty is not the... Oh, I'm going to starve to death. I can no longer run already. Okay, so that's going to be a problem, potentially. I don't see any sheep here that I could shear to make a bed, but I don't have shears yet because I haven't cooked my iron. So we're just kind of looking around. A lot of cool silverfish. <gasps> Ooh. Is there anything good in the ground here? Before we starve to death? There's probably everything... Okay, yeah. Yeah, everything's terrible down here. We can come back to this later once we have a sword. And once... Okay, well, it's not that late at night. Okay, where you at? Why are you not on fire? Oh, it's because of that tree. So luckily we can hit this guy with the pickaxe a few times. Oh, that was... Every part of this is going poorly. So there's additionally that. And we didn't even get anything crazy good out of it. Okay, so currently we have no food. No good way to get food or make food. Um, I guess I could have killed those pigs way back there. Um, immediately regretting that decision to spare their lives until I gathered more food. That was, that was very foolish of me. My generosity will likely, in fact, be my undoing here. Um, we also don't have, uh, walls or any door on this shelter yet. And I forgot to put that charcoal in there. So let's go ahead and make some, or, uh, well, let's make a door, actually, first. That's probably one of the smartest things we could do. Okay, so we get our door here. We are going to put some dirt up, like so. Boom. Perfect house. It feels like a home already. Um, you would almost not think of me as a homeless person. Oh, yeah, swordsmanship. I was going to not ruin my house by knocking out the wall. But I was going to get more cobble, and then I was going to jump to waste what little energy I have, because I'm just exceptional at conservation of energy. I'm downright Newtonian when it comes to conservation of energy. So let's see if we can find a, a single pig or something that we can, you know, not squelch per se. We don't want to drive it beneath us underfoot without any chance of existing freely, but we, we, we need to eat something. And that something's probably going to be alive for a very short period of time. Okay, we are starting to get so hungry. And I don't remember what difficulty I'm on, but I think I'll start starving. Oh, hey, there's lava over there. How is there no food up here? Okay. Well, I don't seem to be starving to... Yeah, now I'm starving to death. Okay, and... Uh, okay, so... I might want to go make a chest to go store all the good stuff I've gotten so far. Which is essentially just five iron and... Yes. So, we are... We are uh, our quest is to make a chest. It's going to be the very best. Um, like no storage unit ever was. And, let's see, we just have to get two. Okay, so I guess I'm not on super hard mode, because it seems to have stopped decrementing my health canner. So that's good. But either way, we are in grave peril right now. And when I say grave peril, what I mean is, like, it could be our grave if we're not careful. And it's also perilous. The, the peril there cannot be understated. It must be overstated. It's insanely perilous. Okay, so we're going to want to put our little bit of that in there, a little bit of this right here, so we can light up our beautiful home and the area immediately surrounding it. We should probably add some light for our crops because we will need them to grow that we might harvest them for food. 
Oh, I forgot I could make a fishing rod and fish, because this is the new version of the game. But, um, with all the new fish and whatnot. I wonder if there's Thalmcraft fish. I should know that. Anyway, I was going to spare you guys all this stuff, but I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. And so even though it's... Ooh, I wonder if there's an aura node right here, because it's all glowy. I'll have to get a thalmometer or a thalma glasses or whatever. Now, supposedly everything is new in this version of Thalmcraft. And that might be a lie, because I'm very gullible, but that's what the uh, forum said. So we are just going to do this little single-player existence. Gonna head back this way. I'm wondering... I probably have time to harvest just a little bit more timber, just to have enough to get me through the night in terms of light and woods if I want to start mining. Although I don't know if I really want to start mining right here if I've got that crevasse down there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go in our house and not be insane idiots. Because this is how we die. This is how we die in this game. We die by not really thinking things through. So we are just gonna... Oh, I should have got some uh, sand so I could make a beautiful... A window. That would have been wise. So let's go ahead and put everything super fancy and special into here for the moment and cook us some food and meanwhile time skip. Oh hey creeper I see you over there I'm just gonna munch on my pork chop. Oh what's that? What's that? Oh check that out. Door shut in your face. Ha ha. I'm glad I put that block there. Also, I found some coal here, which I can then harvest to, you know, generate charcoal. Oh, wait, no, just generate coal. Whatever, I do it all the time. I'm a pretty cool guy, always mining things, always crafting. When I'm not crafting, I'm what, what a rafting. No, that's uh, incorrect. I'm not what, what a rafting. What am I doing? When I'm not crafting, I have you laughing. No, I have you laughing when I be crafting. Dang it, that's also factually untrue. It's important that all hip-hop represent the truth of the streets of the speaker. And if you cannot deliver on that basic premise, sir, or ma'am, you have no business in hip-hop. I seem to have found my way into a deep, dark cavern. Of course, I didn't bring my sword with me, so this can only go hilariously well in all regards. Okay, so... Ugh, I heard my own footsteps and panicked. Okay, yeah, this goes quite a ways in every direction. So what we're going to do real quick is, rather than going back for our sword and securing all the iron that we've got so far, we are just going to simply make more torches and leave our fate in the hands of our talent. Ha ha ha, I jest. We are going to leave our fate in my talent, which is, of course, limitless. Like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever taken the calculus by Newton, but yeah, when he's talking about things approaching infinity, he's referring to my Minecraft skill. So we are just going to plow through here like a snow plow down I-75. Well, wow, it's a bat. It's cool, guys. It's just a bat. Ah, spider. Don't be scared. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to kind of cover that for the moment. Let's investigate in here. Is there anything worth stealing? I mean mining. There's a bit of mercury. Quicksilver, if you will. And there is a bit more... No. That's literally all that's in this entire cave. There's some coal and some, some iron. Some iron over here. Well, what an exceptionally interesting cavern. I was really hoping there'd be some of them magical things, like from the Thalmcraft with the colors. Dukes, the colors. But no, of course not. So instead, we just find ourselves mining continuously downward in a spiral of sadness. Sadness. No, I'm kidding. It's fun! Time skip! Well, I seem to have discovered some of the beautiful lava... Known, of course, to those of us who are famous for a mispronounced magma as magmar. So we're just going to go ahead and set up a little lava bridge there. Not really a lava bridge, more of a lava wall. A lava penitentiary that will lock in the potential energy of that lava to burn us alive. Oh, this is a big room. This is a big room indeed. 
Wow, ma, 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 what a cave we have here. What a cave we have found. Ah! The spider. Where is it? Whoa! Okay, 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 this is bad. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. I hear wisps. How are there wisps in here? Okay. Everything is going to be fine. How will our hero escape the cave? Does he know the exit route? Perhaps he lit it insufficiently. This voice is hard to do. Find out next time on the thrilling continuation of Joe Hills and Thalmcraft 4. That's hard to say for a while.